Hey guys, welcome to the first official video of Moss Motorsports. I guess I'll start with a little introduction about myself. My name is Ryan and I'm currently 19 years old and I'll be going into my junior year this fall at the University of Kansas. And I basically wanted to make this introduction video to not only tell you a little bit about myself, but also about this channel. Moss Motorsports is a family owned company owned by me and my family, obviously and it's honestly more of a hobby than anything else. Ever since I was a little kid, I would work on cars with my dad. It was a great way for us to just pass the time and do something that we both loved. We've worked on restoring uh, Camaros in the past, Corvettes, and we even have modern performance vehicles as well. My dad drives a GTR right now, and I drive an FRS, which is Quite a bit slower, but you know, once we get a turbo in that thing, it should hopefully get be a bit faster. Um, but yeah, basically the overall goal of this channel for me personally is I just want to meet a lot of other people that share the same passion about cars that I do. And it could be either locally or just anywhere in the world. I love connecting with other people and connecting with people that share the same passion is even more rewarding. So I guess I'll give you a little tour of the warehouse and we'll go from there. All right, well, welcome to the warehouse. So as you can see, we have a lot of projects going on right now. And the black 69 Camaro, that one is actually almost done. It's got a few more things to work on and I'll show you that in a minute, but it's getting there. And these over here are some gallons of E98 racing fuel. And these things are only used for my dad's 1100 horsepower Nissan GTR. And I honestly can't believe that that thing hasn't broken down yet. It's daily driven at 110,000 miles so far. And we haven't really had any issues with it. So props to Nissan for building such a reliable platform. And that car is a blast to drive. He's currently on a business trip right now, so I can't show you the car. But when he does come back, I'll go through that with you guys. I think you'll love it a lot. So I guess for the first vehicle, we'll start with a slightly boring one. Um, it's a Ford F350 Dually, and it's a 2008 car. So with that comes a 2008 interior. Nothing special there, but the rear end does have, um, I, I believe this is aluminum, and it's pretty spacious for a truck. I mean, considering how fat the rear end is. You can fit a lot of stuff back here. And these uh, fence posts, I don't know what else to call them, can be fit into these ridges here. And it just makes transporting stuff so easy. Like we can fit all three of our motorcycles back here, no problem. And it just makes it really easy to load things and unload things, especially when you're moving. So, all right, I guess I'll start with the Pontiac Firebird for our list of classics. So this car actually runs the last time we drove it and it actually worked pretty well. It does need a few things to be replaced on it, but for the most part, it actually runs decent and you know, it won't take too long to get this thing restored. So I'll show you the massive engine. It's a 632 V8. I think it's 10.3 liters. If I get this wrong, I'll probably get roasted for it, but do my best. Um, so, yeah, it does need a bit of work though, especially the interior, which I'll show you guys in here. It's, I'm not a huge fan of the red and the seats don't look too great themselves, but you know, time will tell. We'll get that thing done. All right, so for the second one, I'll show you guys this Dodge Ram and this thing actually does run and it doesn't need that much work done to it. And we're honestly not gonna do a full restoration like we normally do for this car. It's, you know, we're just gonna make sure it's reliable, it runs properly, and then we're just gonna sell it. We don't really have that big of an interest in really diving deep into the restoration of this one, like we do with some of the other classics. Um, but for this one, the this is a 63 Corvette, and it's painted in candy apple red, although it is really dusty because we haven't worked on it in a while. But that happens. It still has these things on it from when we moved from California. We, we used to live in California and when we moved, we 
moved all the cars with us. Most of the cars that were with us when we moved from California are still with us right now, except for like one or two that we were able to sell and get fully restored. But this Corvette actually does need a lot of work still, obviously. I remember putting in the Dynamat with my friend Nick and that was really fun, but that was, gee, back in like middle school, so. Yeah, it's it's been sitting for a while, but you know, we'll, we'll get that taken care of. I want to work on this one right after we get done with the black, or black Camaro, not Corvette. Um, but we'll see what happens. So that's that. And that car over there, that is another Camaro, I believe, that we got for like, gee, 600 bucks or something. And obviously it does need some work. I can't really take you guys back there right now. I'm kind of blocked off, but yeah. So we love Camaros around here. And this car, this is a Dodge. And I, I forgot what year it is. I'm sure you guys can probably figure it out just from looking at it but you know paint's not too bright on this one it's uh, a bit worn out but you know we'll replace it with thinking uh, maybe like purple or like a lime green we'll see with that one I'll take you over here to the back so you can get a better view of it all right so uh, you know we got the classic right there written on the car which uh, you know nice but we'll get that replaced <laughs> um and then this one the last one i'm showing you guys this is a personal favorite of mine although it does need a lot of work it's a 59 corvette and i think we're gonna make it black yeah we're gonna make it like a glossy black that's what we plan on doing with the overall color with with chrome accents obviously and yeah i think I think it'll look pretty cool, so that'll, that'll be a long time from now, but we'll get it done. And so for this one, it's a 69 Camaro SS. Oh, I just hit the top. All right. <laughs> so it needs a lot of work still, and I could probably lower it for you guys, just so you can see the interior. I'll just do that later. But yeah, it uh, has a lot done to it so far. Basically restoring this thing completely. I remember painting like the parts back there, the body of this car, painting the entire underbody of this thing, putting in all brand new internals. We got new frame in here that connects the front and the rear versus the stock one that this car came with that was only half the car so it'll handle a lot better and we put new brakes on it obviously got some willwood brakes on there and yeah honestly i'm really happy with how this car is turning out so far and this will be the first car that you guys see in our channel that gets restored completely so i'm excited to be sharing that with you guys and yeah, it does need a lot of work, but it's getting there. It's getting pretty close. So, yeah, I feel pretty good about that. Um, oh, I'll bring in my car, and I'll show you guys that right now also. I drive an FRS, and it's a 2013 in white. It's nothing super special yet, but I want to do a turbo build on it. Wide body kit, obviously. I do have a big wing coming in, so I do have to order that turbo pretty soon because if I'm driving around with a huge wing, it's going to look a little weird. But... You know, it is what it is. Uh, I'll show you guys that in a minute. Let me just pull it in real quick. All right, there she is. So, like I said, it's a 2013 FRS. Um, pretty much like bone stock. There are some modifications to the interior that I did. A little bit of carbon fiber and the wheels are different, but for the most part, oh, and a cat back exhaust. But for the most part, it's pretty much bone stock. Want to turbo it and want to wide body it. Do all those crazy things, so stay tuned for that. Um, I'll show you the wheels on it. 
they are XXRs and I forgot what size they were. But they're pretty nice. They fit pretty well in the car. You see they like line up like pretty much perfectly there to the side. Although, fun fact, they are different colors because I hit a massive pothole in Kansas and this side got hit with that pothole and both the wheels were bent and I couldn't repair them so I had to get them replaced. But you know, it happens. And the catback exhaust got a little burnt tip although it's really dirty so you can't really see it that well. You can see this one a little bit better. And I'll do some revs for you guys but yeah it's pretty nice. Oh, and a little backup camera right there, so that helps, although it's a small car anyway, I don't really need it. And as for the interior, gotta go around because I locked myself out. It has all the basic stuff, pretty much. We have, uh, this is actually real carbon fiber. It was a full replacement, not one of those 3M adhesive ones that a lot of people put on. It's a uh, full replacement and it's honestly really nice. It's a glossy carbon. And I have the same thing on the doors, door handles, and on the dash as well. Got the air conditioner on full blast in here because it's just so hot outside. This thing's been sitting out there and I like almost burned my hand just touching the shift knob. And the wheel is honestly my favorite part about the car. The carbon on it is just amazing. And the shifter. I like that too. I gotta adjust that R though. It's a little crooked. <laughs> and this is actually, I got this from Bulletproof Automotive, their website. And I don't think they sell it anymore, but it's a armrest they made for the FRS. And it's held up pretty well. I like it a lot. So, yeah, that's pretty much the interior of this car. And I do have a rear detector mounted, which is very convenient, and a black view camera so if anyone decides to you know, get into an accident with me I at least have some proof 18 year olds or well I'm 19 now don't really have the best track record for driving so if there is an accident they're usually blamed first it's just kind of nice to have that in the car um, never had to really use it though oh and I also have some different lights in the front the wind jets got them from ft86 speed factory they're pretty nice a lot better than the stock ones <laughs> so yeah i guess i'll uh, do a little rev for you guys you guys like that I actually forgot to hit the record button the first time I did it so I had to do it again but no worries and I guess I'll close the video here um, I'm really glad to have finally started making videos about car content I've been doing it for so long already and honestly I'm surprised I haven't done it sooner maybe I'm just afraid of the camera but hey here I am now so yeah um, looking forward to connecting with the car community around here in Las Vegas and elsewhere in the world and really excited to see where things go with this channel. So stay tuned. Thanks. Bye.